Hey, if you haven't taken a look outside tonight, you might want to. Yeah, pretty bright because not only is this Friday the 13th, but there's a harvest moon lighting up the night sky. It is the first full moon to fall on a Friday the 13th in nearly 20 years. And that kind of timing won't happen again for 30 years. Of course, there's a lot of superstitions surrounding this day. John Domol navigated around all of the black cats and broken mirrors to give us a little history. Okay, hopefully it won't be that dramatic. 13 is firmly rooted as an evil or unlucky number in society, but the science behind it says otherwise. It is literally just a number. The calendar has changed so many times throughout history that this day could really be any other. Is the calendar that everybody's superstitious about our current Gregorian calendar, which has been around since the 16th century? Or are, do we go to the Julian calendar, which goes back to Julius Caesar? Or do we go to the non-calendar or the troubled calendar before Julius Caesar? And there's also an answer why 13 stigma of unholiness persists. Fear. And fear grows fear. So the fear is in our heads, but there must be something going on here. The full moon works the tides, uh, the oceans and everything else. So it's also going to work on us, okay, because we are so much water more than anything. The marriage of 13 and bad luck goes all the way back to the end of the Crusades. There was 13 of them left, and they were all slaughtered on the same day, which happened to be the 13th. From there, it went to witches and their covens, which typically had 13 women. And then books and movies took it from there. The experts say the day is only as evil as we make it. They automatically look for something to be wrong, and they manifest it. We can manifest good, we can manifest bad. So if you're really worried that you're gonna have a flat tire on Friday the 13th, you're gonna have it. And the only way to buck the trend starts with us. As time moves on, uh, people just keep renewing that fear. Reporting in Green Bay, John Dommel, Local 5 News.